بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The most powerful rhetoric will always come from the heart. But when you have artifice and the heart working together, as you did in somebody like Malcolm X, it takes it to a whole other level. You're moving mountains. Right? Or the Prophet I mean, first and foremost, the greatest rhetorician ever, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Balir, he was a rhetor. And, and uh, Abu Bakr said, Ma minka, ya Rasulullah. I've never seen anyone more eloquent than you, O Messenger of God. And he said, fi Bani Sa'd. I'm Qurayshi and, and I grew up in Bani Sa'd. So the Quraysh were the, you know, they had the best language of the, the Hadar people, and Banu Sa'd had the best language of the Bedouin people. So in other words, he didn't say, oh, this is just a gift from God. He said, no, there are asbab for why I am eloquent. Mm -hmm. You see, this is what's really important for me in that hadith. Mm -hmm. There are asbab. There's a reason why Shakespeare is as powerful as he is. Well, he liked poetry. I mean, he, the, he, he definitely, his favorite poet was Ibn Abi Salt. Um, he liked poetry. He used to have poetry recited. Aisha, who grew up in his house, clearly, was a master of Arabic poetry. She, she knew thousands of lines of poetry. Ibn Abbas, his, his cousin, who grew up again in his house, a master of Arabic poetry. So his house was a literary house, surrounded with a lot of poetry. And those hadiths in which he disparages poetry have to do with, he liked wisdom poetry, which is a genre in Arabic tradition, hikmah poetry. Um, so uh, the hadiths are about people that waste their lives. It's uh, in, in, in poetry. That's all they do. The Quran says they do what they say. Except those who believe and you know, because Allah says about the poet, they're wandering aimlessly. In a, you know, in our culture, ly lyric poets tend to be, um, you know, songwriters. And, and a lot of them do say amazing things. Uh, and they affect people. Unfortunately, a lot of what's manifested of late is this kind of fahsh and tafahush, which is foul language and things like that. And that's one of the things Fakhruddin al-Razi says that shaitan, one of the ways that uh, shaitan uh, destroys people is he inspires their poets to say foul things. And then the young people grow up memorizing a lot of foul things. I mean, he said this in the 13th century. You know, so their young people grow up memorizing a lot of foul things. And so their minds are polluted from a very early age. Right? They lose their purity.